Andrew Bolton, uh, curator of the exhibition China Through the Looking Glass, which is um, on display at the Metropolitan Museum of Art until August the 16th. Through the Looking Glass is a novel by uh, Lewis Carroll, which um, talks about the heroine um, going through a mirror in her house into this imaginary sort of inventive world where, where everything's topsy-turvy and back to front. And the exhibition, um, I wanted the exhibition to point to that because the exhibition itself isn't really about China per se, it's about a sort of collective fantasy of China, a sort of virtual China, um, a China that really exists in the designer's imagination. So I wanted to um, reflect from the outset the thesis of the exhibition and the idea that what you're looking at in the exhibition are sort of distortions of uh, Chinese imagery and Chinese motifs, the sort of um, cross-cultural communication between the East and the West and the fact that that communication isn't just one-sided, it's not about one-sided mimicry, it's really about a communication. Blue and white porcelain originated in China during the Yuan dynasty. Uh, and was exported to the West in the 16th century, where it was um, really copied by um, Western designers, Western ceramicists. The Willow Pattern probably is the most famous example. And the Willow Pattern, which was mass produced in Europe through uh, the transfer printing process, made its way back into um, China, where it was, um, again, uh, hand painted versions were used for export. So um, they incorporated motifs that um, were really an exoticized China. Um, in a European's imagination and it was sort of reorientalized back into China. So in a way it, it told the story of the sort of circulation of motifs between the East and the West. Well I think that I mean, Orientalism is still Orientalism and, um, and it has extreme negative connotations and we wanted to pose a different question in a way uh, about what about garments that are deliberately um, created as fantasies um, that um, and rather than censor them or disregard them, to sort of explore them as, um, as products of the imagination. So it's not really, um, it, it's, not, it's not a critique of Orientalism at all, um, and it embraces a lot of those Orientalist tropes in the exhibition, um, both that are produced in the West, but also sort of auto-Orientalist tropes. A lot of the Chinese films in the exhibition actually perpetuate sort of Orientalist tropes that the West have used in their fantasies. But in a way, it's looking at sort of um, um, particular images and motifs that designers gravitate towards. It's a sort of unified language, a matrix of China. But it, it, it primarily, it, it, it is positing the question um, and asking visitors to look at objects that are deliberately products of the imagination um, and that are, in a way, um, creat creative outlets for the imagination. So it's by no means um, a critique of Orientalism, but this um, exhibition looks at how designers have looked to China, um, not, as, not to denigrate the culture, but also in a way to celebrate its creative influence on the West.